So before I sucked his dick, I saw him having his dick sucked by someone else, <laughs> which is very... If you think of the clip as a clock... Welcome to Private Parts, the show that dives into things all sexy, saucy and naughty. And today my guest is Karen Hobbs. Princess, goddess. You did ask what I wanted I to be did. called, I and I was like, I have princess. princess. Yeah. And now you've included it, so we have to include it. <laughs> oh. And comedian. Yes. Amazing. So, what do you do to make yourself feel sexy? For me, what makes me feel sexy, what do I do to make myself feel sexy, is heat. So whether that's like okay. a hot bath, mm -hmm. a hot shower, um, exercise. Not that exercise makes me feel sexy, but the sweating, the sweating. afterwards. Okay. Holiday. Like, basically, feeling as... I'm not gross, hot and sticky as possible. Yeah. Makes me feel really good and sensual. Okay. So moving on to the next one, saucy. Mm -hmm. Best or worst date or both? Okay, so worst date, but probably is the best story, okay. um, is that I went on a first date with a guy who um, prior to going on the date, so we'd met once, chatted okay. over a few weeks and then had arranged to meet up. And in the three weeks leading up to the actual first date, yeah. I saw him in some porn he'd made um, several years previously. So before I sucked his dick, I saw him having his dick sucked by <laughs> someone else, <laughs> which is very... <laughs> it's not normal. Okay, right, moving on yes. to naughty. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Yes. Of course I faked an orgasm. Yeah. Like, I've been sexually active for Have almost... you been caught out? No, really long story short, I once accidentally got paid £40 for sex. There was a language barrier in Thailand. We, yeah. But, I, but, but, I, Oh gosh, that sounds like a great story. Yeah. Come and see one of my comedy shows. I'll tell you the whole story. It's called Accidental Prostitute. And, uh, and I faked it then. Yes. Do you have a kink or a fetish? I love um, food play, but not in the sense of okay. like getting in the oven. Just more like, just <laughs> more like getting in the oven. Like, I don't want to be. I don't want to like pretend to be a turkey. <laughs> like put my legs. Back <laughs> out, stuff. I don't. Mean, I don't mean that. I mean like I like to. I like to um, talk dirty, but with food in the dirty. Like as okay. in, for example. Right. Um, I'll talk about my pussy yeah. as like this beautiful pink cupcake okay. and I'll be like, I want you to cut over my cupcake. Oh, that's so Do you know funny. what I mean? And stuff it's like so that. Cute. It's kind of funny. It's, it's really cute. cute and funny. I say it's more sexy than cute. Sorry, is, but like, I'm yeah. really sorry. Yeah. I say it's actually really arousing for everyone involved. <laughs> I really love being choked, but I've never yes. blacked out and I don't like to get to the point of where I think I'm Just going like to. Just like a little bit of like... Yeah, so you know some people go full on asphyxiation. Yeah. No, okay. I'm too scared of dying. Yeah. I've survived cancer. I'm not going to die in a cupboard. Do you know what I mean? No. But I do like a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna die in a cabbage. <laughs> I just I like what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Um, I'm quite submissive sexually, so I don't yeah. mind a bit of choking and slapping, yeah. but not to the point where I put myself in danger. No, okay. Um, stupidest sex myth you've ever believed? But I used to think that um, a penis could just go inside you, whether it was flaccid or hard. So I, I, I imagined, I didn't really understand what like an erection was, and I thought, right. you know when someone's like, oh, he just put it in? Yeah. I thought that meant whatever state right, okay. it was in. Yeah. So I imagined, I used to imagine, like, someone stuffing, like, like dough, like this soft penis into a vagina. You know, like, when you try and put Play-Doh through yeah. a ring or something. Yeah. So I imagined it just being this lump of penile tissue. Okay, so let's talk sex toys. Yes. Do you have any? Do you use them? Do you have a favourite? So I have a bullet and a, the, one of the traditional bright pink rabbits. Like, okay. who doesn't have that? Yeah. Um, I really enjoy the bullet. Yes. Um, vaginally and slightly anally, but not all the way up. Okay, you need to not let it go too close to your butthole because it will get sucked up. No, but like just around the, like a tickle. Yeah, that's cool. Like a little yeah. external so, yeah. tickle. Yeah. Some more personal ones. Yes. So, more personal ones. Yes. Um, Let's do it. So, you're a cancer survivor. Yes. You had cervical cancer, is that yes, correct? I did. Um, I would like to know, did that affect your sex life? Mm. So, it did. And I think having cancer would affect anyone's yeah. sex life. But also because I had a cancer like down there that yeah. 
literally directly affects the hole I have sex in. Yeah. So, um, yes, so I um, had my cervix and a third of my vagina removed. Okay. So it took quite a while to heal as okay. well. So when I first started having sex after surgery, um, it, it took me ages to enjoy intercourse again. <laughs> I'm here with Nadia, our resident masturbation expert and orgasm whisperer, and we're sliding into your DMs to see what kinky questions people have been asking you. Cool, yeah. So today we are saying, I'm a trans woman and although I love my new body and vagina, I haven't quite got the hang of masturbation. Do you have any tips? Um, this is quite a subject that is not really spoken about as yeah. much and there's not that much information, but from the women that I've spoken to, um, one of the main things is you. your body is completely different. Yeah. So the way you touch yourself is going to be completely different yeah. and there's going to be an adjustment time. First of all, you've got to get out of the habit of how you touch yourself. Okay. Clitorises um, are way more sensitive. Okay. And from the women that I've spoken to, they have been really surprised at how much more sensitive their clitoris is oh, compared really? to the tip of the penis. Yeah. Oh. What works a lot is indirect stimulation. If you think of the clip as a clock, yeah. um, and 12 o'clock being the top and six yeah. at the bottom, uh, some people go directly to the center, like like you ring the doorbell. That doesn't really work. Think about it as a clock. <laughs> right. um, so you just, indirectly touching the clitoris so maybe using the side parts oh so going around i see what going around okay. it um using the labia which was the testicles um a woman told me was really mm. good at just that kind of being a buffer so that just pressing down on it over the clitoris mm -hmm. was a really good one and also you've got to remember you still have a lot of the same uh nerves that you had before so internal vibrations are also really good because you're still going to be hitting your technical g-spot the main tips i have for someone who's trans is to really take the time before you even rush into having sex with someone yeah. else to explore your body yeah. your hormones are going to be different because you're taking hrt if this yeah. is a post-op yeah um so the way you touch yourself is different and yeah. you just need to just be aware that you need to be way more gentle yeah. with yourself and that things take a little bit longer yeah. than they would before when you had penis and you could probably come quite quickly. Yeah. If you've transitioned, I would recommend a clitoral toy. Mm. Um, so something like, like that. Yeah, yeah, this one's really good because it's got a wide, um, compared to this one, it's just got quite a, a direct tip. Yeah. It's really quite so that's hard. good for like doing the clock thing. <laughs> yeah, or just around the side. Yeah. It's quite broad and it's quite soft. So yeah. it's not just, you know, it's not going in yeah. quite strong like a rabbit as well yeah um so this particular one because it's quite small you could try that you might still find that this is too, too strong much, yeah. for your clit but it's just really about getting to know yourself and just realizing that it takes time yeah to um adjust to a new body okay. thank you nadia and if you want to ask nadia any more kinky questions then you can slide into her dms at am.appointment <laughs> Fight or flight, fight for my life Fuck it up, I'm fucking with his psyche I'm a teddy bear with lots of spikes Oh, that wasn't oh. an orgasm by the way That's not what I sound like when oh. I come It's a hot, yeah, great uh, firmness Oh, almost That's what she said Oh, no, no, that was, that was, that was, too that was much. dumb Yeah, okay. uh, No, no, like relax into it And believe that you're going to touch my dick Okay I'm still holding the balls I'm here for you Go Oh, so close. <laughs> you tried to blow on me. No, I just actually oh. got to a signal. <laughs> Over here. I'm gonna like slightly tilt my dick because sometimes dicks aren't straight. I'm gonna like ask for it. Okay. I'm lying here asking for it. Okay. Three, yeah. Go. Three, two, one. Oh, so oh my god, that was so oh. close. Yeah, good wrist action. Very good. Oh my god, it touched the tip. Am I heading in the right direction? <laughs> Head into the head. Yeah, you are. Oh, oh it, can it keeps it keeps touching the tip. Okay. Oh! 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 Okay, go. You can do it. Tom, I once fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, <laughs> are you in?
Thank you so much, Karen, for being on my show. Yay. And if people want to find you, they can find you at Karen underscore Hobbs on yep. Instagram and Twitter. Correct. Yes. And do you have anything you want to plug? Yes, my whole career. That's why. <laughs> no, jokes. Um, so I always post when I'm doing comedy gigs on uh, Instagram and Twitter, so just look out for them on there. But I'm at the Edinburgh Fringe for the whole Fringe, which is cool, basically amazing. all of August. Yeah. I'm at 5pm every day. It's a free show, um, but you have to put something in my bucket afterwards. It's not Ooh. a euphemism. I mean, cold hard cash. Um, I'm going to get an eye zettle as well, though, just in case people <laughs> don't carry cash. Uh, so 5pm throughout the whole Fringe, it's a show called Pussies. Ooh, it's a free amazing. comedy. Yeah, exciting. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. I've been Venus Abudo and thank you so much Karen for coming on my show and thank you to all the guests that we've had on season one and thank you to all of you for watching as well I couldn't have done it without your support and watch out for private parts season two. Bye.